Progress equals happiness. Tony Robbins. As educators, it's important we never stop learning, growing, and striving to be amazing for our students. In doing so, we're not only getting better at our craft, but we're also creating more opportunities to be happier in education. I try to engage with as many educators as I can around the topic of happiness in education. I have a particular interest in those educators who are near the end of their careers and still have the passion and love for the profession. A common characteristic that they all share is that they have embraced change in learning throughout their entire careers. It can be easy to not want to change in education. We invest a lot of time and energy establishing ourselves in a community and planning our lessons in units. Often change means that we need to re-establish, re-plan, or rethink the way that we have become accustomed to doing things. However, this is not time and energy wasted. Often the changes we make can re-energize us and give us a greater sense of purpose. Knowing when to change all comes down to listening to your life and taking time to reflect. Some of the key indicators of needing change are, you're getting frustrated by things that never used to bother you. You're feeling less motivated going to work each morning. You're feeling more disconnected from staff and students. You become jealous of others. Your relationships begin to deteriorate. And you feel more stress and you can feel that there's a decline in your well-being. Not all changes need to be major ones, such as moving schools, switching grades, or changing roles. Sometimes what we need to do is change how we are teaching. Investing more in professional development is a great way to keep the passion alive. Proof of this can be seen when you attend a conference or optional professional development sessions. The majority of the educators that attend this form of PD are engaged, inspired, and happy. Our professional development does not always need to come from above. I love the idea of creating our own authentic annual learning plan. Each year commit to learn something of your choosing that is not necessarily tied to your school or board goals. Make a plan to continually develop this skill or area of practice. Look for opportunities to learn from others and to integrate into your daily teaching practice. There is something amazing about having autonomy over your own learning and it can deliver the boost you need to be happier. When learning does come from above, try to see it as an opportunity and not just an obligation. I love the quote, you can't stop the wave, but you can learn to surf. Try to avoid fighting new learning and find ways to make it meaningful and impactful. The better we are at this, the less negative energy we create, and the more likely we are to continue to grow and be happier in education. Embracing change and understanding its importance is an important aspect of staying happy and motivated over an entire career in education. One of the best ways to know when change is important for you is to take time to reflect on how you're feeling and listen to what your life is telling you. Although change can be scary, unsettling, and more work, it can also be exactly what you need to be happier in education. Thank you for joining us, and remember to strive for happiness in education. You deserve it.